Might as well paint some dough. Here. Let's, make it it. Let's make it happen. So let's Hell roll into this final up. match here. We got Chris Wojcik versus Brad Schneider. We got DJ Jack Rabbit on the uh, ones and twos, and Brad Schneider with the coolest rash guard of the day. Walk the mat into our final match. With move. them hooligan, I move with them and get the views with them. True vision, I'm new, slipping my new victims with the smooth rhythm. Better than MJ with the flu symbols. They couldn't force me in the game. This is all real, raw skill. Mixed with that tar heel, what's the yarn? Real car feel. One shot making your car till hard still. Like trying to guard with your skills. Make his way to the final match. Let them all right, well, it's God in the grand sky. That's a feat that they can try ran by. I don't Need to speak. I can hear Chris Roach has got a hell of a run like in the grappling circuit. Momentum, a real thing. I'm looking to show it in the finals here at ETC's Kuba Tank. Kuba Tank Tournament, Absolute Division, final match on the line. Brad Schneider versus Chris Roach, two teammates, two friends, two foes. 15 minutes of grappling action in your face. Javier is giving me the eyes in. Let's start this. Turn it down, Jack Rabbit. Jack we're rushing All right, right so we're bat. collar Inside ties. Tie, collar tie. I'll tell you what, those sides of that guy's arms are freaking big. You just can't stop gawking at Dude, him. Dude, I have nothing else to gawk at. Except this great grappling All match right. here. We got Chris Wojcik versus Brad Schneider here. Wrestling. Um, just a nice, easy hand fight here right now. Not much action going on. You can jab, jab him in there. The wall. Yeah. Oh, push his head right into the wall. I'll tell you what, his coach was over there fearless, that's just jamming himself into the direction. own, own okay, corner. Chris okay, Chris Wojak sitting, sitting down here. Did not expect this after okay. playing the top game so heavy in his first matchup. And he's going to jam him into the corner. And it's his favorite move. <laughs> I love a wall jam. Okay. Chris playing guard, able okay. to recover. Back but to action. Now we got to do a little wall walk. Something, uh, if you've never trained before, might be more difficult than it seems. K guard, there's a K guard, Hoagie. Okay, you say so. Yeah, Chris Wojcik is actually a master of the K-guard. He really likes to go over to backside 50-50. He's had a lot of success with it in high-level competition. Um, we'll see what Brad Schneider's defense for this move will be. Ooh, he's going to wrestle up, and now no, back down to the butt. Back to your K-guard. K-guard inverting underneath. He's trying to go after the legs er early while they're dry, I'd assume. Yeah. Like uh, Hanson was saying, it's really tough once they, kick, they get all sweaty. But these legs are so long. Of it's a lot of Schneider. leg to lock. Right. It's <laughs> a lot of leg to lock. And now they're in a 50-50 position. a boot to break, wow. too. I don't know the technical name for that uh, modified toehold position that Chris Wojcik looked like he was going for. Um, Brad Schneider is holding that knee, which is actually a very uh, great way to start establishing your 50, po 50 position, able to scramble and get his leg free. All right, back to the middle of the mat. Well, Max Hansen now securing the quickest tap of the event he uh, sure bonus. He sure is. And he's a winner of $2,100.50. $50. These math guys over here. Tell you what, I have a, don't have a PhD in math. I don't have a PhD in anything. You have a play You've a hate got a degree. PhD in jujitsu. That's pretty <laughs> much a black belt. Yeah, I guess. Dr. Yeah. Dennis Dombrow. Anyway, 3D. I'll, I'd be more than happy to give you medical advice. <laughs> Please don't. Armchair. Anyway, position. so uh, Chris Wojcik's going for a false reap position here. One of his specialty moves. Um, now he's going for the calf slicer. I've seen him Ooh, win some uh, matches like this. This is nasty. Brad Schneider knew it was back coming. Back to the single leg, and now two hip, two his attacks. Back down, back down to the ground. Down on the mat. In addition to being a phenomenal uh, submission grappler, Chris Wojcik, I believe, is a high-level wrestler as well. Going back to K guard. Back tight, 50-50. Oh, going for it. Wow. Oh, that, and that wall. That's why there's pads on that wall. Jam him right in there. Scooting up that leg is uh, is Chris Wojcik. They're only three minutes into this match. They are going after it. Wow. Referee Mike is making sure that Matt doesn't fall down. Thank you, sir. Not referee, judge. Judge. Mike. Judge Mike. Yep. Thank you, Nick. Gator tail Nick on the frickin' mops. <laughs> Zing. I wish this match, this match was in such high action so we could take a quick pan over to Gator tail Nick and see what he's working with over here. Okay, back to the action. Yeah, Chris right. Wojcik, uh, 
passing the guard. Brad Schneider working a half guard. Um, as Corey would call this, he'd call it like a W guard, I think. I think that's um, a Z guard. Z guard, that's right. Um, Four minutes, go. Someone needs to freaking... No, he's got uh, a cross face. Give me a little reassurance here that I'm not that big of an idiot. Well, maybe you should have gotten your black belt not 20 years ago. Wow. Whoa. Take that. Nice <laughs> right. Sorry for getting a black belt. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> enough of the jabber, John. Back to the yeah. action. Chris so Wojcik is doing passing. A great job. Yeah, and he's doing a good job of keeping the pressure Brad on Brad seems top. to be on the defense. Oh, he's going to sit back. back to an ankle lock. I would say Straight that ankle. Chris Wojcik is the aggressor here. Ranked 13th in the world in nogi grappling. Yeah, that's for a reason. On flow right? grappling's yeah. ranking. Switch into a toe. Oh, a straight Achilles lock from Brad Schneider. That looks tight. He was able to withstand the pain. Something tells me that these guys will let their legs break. When a, a uh, wolf chalice and two thousand dollars is on the line, right. you let limbs break. I mean, if I could drink coffee out of a wolf chalice every morning, I would. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a buggy choke. Is his head in there? Yeah. Now Chris is smart. He's pummeling his right arm through. He knows the danger here, and when you got... This is a, a classic Roberts guard, isn't it, pal? I wouldn't go that far. No, I would not. All right, so Corey needs a little uh, tutorial on jiu-jitsu positions. What? I thought that he was in a rubber guard or Roberts guard position. It was neither Roberts nor rubber. Um, speaking of rubber, what is that? Uh, <laughs> knee through the middle pass and... Uh, he gets close with that knee cut pass, but just constantly keeping the distance as Brad Schneider getting that knee back inside. Half guard knee shield here, as uh, Dennis would like to call it. I don't call it anything. Nine, there we go. Left. Chris Wojcik throwing that left arm back behind the trapezius muscle, getting a trapezius. <laughs> Oh, okay. Nice back to close guard. Not quite. This is a very entertaining match. We have Brad Schneider on bottom playing guard, defending the guard pass, throwing up attacks, and we have Chris Wojcik on top who is constantly putting the pressure on and passing. I would not want to be a judge of this. I would say Chris maybe has the advantage with the potential leg attack. Nice. Back to the feet. Eight minutes left as Chris looks up to the clock. And uh, I hope he's not fooled and he doesn't realize that that time is not accurate. It's not. What is it? Oh, that one up there is Yeah, no. Part. He's got eight minutes yeah, to go. It's like, oh, one minute. <laughs> yeah. <but> <laughs> empty the tank. Yes. <laughs> Chris, you have eight more minutes, pal. Don't look at the clock. Someone turn that clock off before it goes off. Oh. All right, doing a good job of pummeling those legs. Yeah, trying nope, to get to nope, Brad is on top. Bottom now again. Keep that pressure. Right in those submissions. Use it to get our positions. We get deeper and deeper. Halfway through, Brad. Halfway through. Keep your legs pumping. Pump your legs. Let's go. Brad's pummeling that left leg inside. Halfway. Seven and a half. Controlling this whole fight. Keep it going. Ooh, sitting back again. If they're neutral, maybe reset. Um, What's up, Christian? You're a little silent here. What do you think's going on? Well, you know, it's one of it's one of those things that Brad's so so good at getting dangerous quick that he's able to kind of sit back and kind of be reactionary to to Chris, who's constantly pushing the action. But it looks like there's a calculated effort happening on the bottom from Brad. It's like a matter of time before he explodes. And the question they're resetting becomes, in the middle of the mat question becomes how long can Wocha keep this pace Correct. you know there's a lot of time left if you're going to keep this kind of this kind of yeah, pace from the seven top seven minutes left go who wants the wolf chalice keep going keep going keep going yeah beautiful alright seven minutes seven minutes these Dante Leon guys also like clearly good str strategists, you know. So they are game competitors. They come out of Adamas Jiu Jitsu. They have a game plan. They know how to use their clock. They yep. know how to use the, the the attack system to play the game to their advantage. Yeah, 
tell you what, I see Mario back there looking on closely. One oh, yeah. rematch against Brad Schneider. Yeah, sure. yeah. Or maybe against even the winner here. This is our season end tournament, DTC number five. And the winner of this goes on to another main event. Uh, yeah. Is oh. it next DTC or how is that oh, working? Yeah. Talk, talk to us. Oh, four oh, foot, foot here. Tight. Hey, now he's, Brad Schneider's got a really tight Achilles lock on. Now Chris has the Achilles lock. They both have Achilles locks. Wow. Yeah, but definitely the. Oh, oh, oh it is wow. Chris Fulcher wow. with the tap. With the finish. Wow. Oh, Came real. out of left field with that. Holy smokes. You know, we saw and him that, sitting back and very confident and clearly for mission. good reason. Wow, and that Chris is the Wolcher winner with $1,500 wow. and the Wolf Chalice. The man that came out All of nowhere. All right. Good job, guys. Great Hell work, both of you guys. Great match. All right. All right, we are here with your winner and tournament champion, Chris Vocha. Congratulations, my friend. There is your Wolf Chalice. Money, you... I mean, you went out there, you looked sensational in your matchups. You had a little bye coming into this. What was it like stepping into that final against such a tough competitor like Brad Schneider, being thrown through that loop of the bye before this? Um, I mean, Brad's super tough. We've competed against each other before. We've trained together. I don't know how many times we trained together last week. So, you know, we pretty much know everything that we're going to do. So I knew that was going to be a real tough match. Um, the bye was weird. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but, you know, of what happens. I felt like I came out a little bit flat in the first match, but I was glad to get this up in the finals. Well, you came out staying the aggressor the whole time in this matchup, and it looked like you were more than happy to sit back for a couple of those leg locks, despite dealing with somebody who's obviously so well-rounded and, and so skilled at leg attacks. Was that something you thought you'd have success in? Uh, yeah, uh, Brad's guard is tough to pass. I felt like the mats were a little slippery, so I was having a hard time being exposed in my passing. So uh, I was trying to mix in Falling back for the legs. Um, I was doing the ankle lock a lot. Ideally, I was looking for an inside heel hook, but I used the ankle lock more. Um, and when he was defending the ankle, he was turning, which was giving me a few close looks to back exposure, which was what I was looking for. But ended up just getting the ankle lock, and I'm happy with that. Well, you said his guard was difficult to pass, but it was uh, it was also your your pace that we we're keeping track of in the booth, saying that I mean you're doing a great job of staying offensive the whole time. Did you have plans of keeping your foot on the gas throughout the whole the whole match? Yeah, I felt like, you know, I feel like it's harder to be on bottom for 15 minutes than on top for 15 minutes. So I felt like if I just kept being relentless with the pressure, I played guard a few times, but I wanted to be on top for as long as I could. You've been on an incredible tear, obviously keeping the momentum going. What's next for Chris Wojcik? Uh, I got a super fight uh, May 21st in Pennsylvania for uh, finishers on the East Coast. Couple seminars lined up, and then uh, got a super fight uh, July 15th at the Twisted Church today. Amazing. Fair enough. Well, fight fans, you're going to want to keep your eye on this one as he's continuing to work his way to the top. Chris Wocha, congratulations, my friend. Well, there you have it. Don't tap championship five. Yes. Kubate in the, the books. Back.